Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for joining me once again. You are always most welcome. Well, today we've got a review, but before I start, I just want to say a few words. It's rather sad news that the, uh, we had in the modelling community uh, last Saturday, in fact, just at the weekend, just gone. Um, many of you will know a chap called Terry, uh, Terry Senior as is often known, uh, of um, his YouTube channel Hobby Barn. Uh, actual name is Terry Thacker over in Kentucky. Um, many of you will know that Terry's been sick for quite some time. Um, he's got a history going back a number of years ago. He was in the uh, the mining industry over there, uh, and he suffered major um, major illness with his lungs, problems with his lungs, and uh, and had major respiratory problems. And sadly, um, he was uh, he, he was transferred from a hospice to home about two and a half three weeks ago. Uh, and he, uh, you know, he, he was very open about his uh, prognosis and that uh, he was coming to the end of his life sadly and uh, he, he really did show real bravery and quite astonishing really in uh, going on YouTube and talking about it the way he did. I'm not sure I could do that if I was, if I was that but I run for cover and I've got a bit of a cough you know. So he showed real courage and determination and uh, uh, and he had real um, sort of a, a presence um, during his illness didn't want to be not not on the the channel um, and he carried on and he carried himself with some dignity and uh, I think it's very impressive and uh, very sad to hear that he's gone now um, some of you will know I think I mentioned this um, in, in my, one of my other uh, chats anyway because I didn't have a chance to uh, include it in the film on the day but there was a GoFundMe page for Terry that was set up by his son uh, and obviously they've uh, in the USA it's obviously quite different than it is in the UK there's no national health service and costs of things like palliative care end of life care are very very expensive indeed um, and they set up this GoFundMe um, and I and many of you I'm sure have uh, made donations to it so if you'd like to help because obviously the family now got still got a lot of expenses and bills to pay at the end um, sadly now that Terry has, has left us uh, so I'll put a link in uh, in the bottom of this uh, video the GoFundMe page details on there uh, I'm sure that anything you can be very much appreciated by his family uh, and you know it's sad that we've lost one of our own from the community and uh, he was a huge fan of uh, American vehicles and trucks and, and cars and things so yeah uh, it's a shame it's a shame we've lost Terry so I hope he rests in peace and uh, just thought I should say a few words about him because I actually sent him a model uh, I think it's too late really for him to appreciate it but just just at New Year uh, about the time that he was getting quite bad you know um, but uh, I know Steve from Steve's Vintage Model Builds, he's a good friend of Terry's, he's known him for a long time, much longer than I. <coughs> so I just think we all send our best wishes to his family at a very difficult time really and, and say farewell Terry and uh, you know, you won't be forgotten. We'll uh, try and continue with a bit of that spirit in the, uh, in the community uh, and you'll be sadly missed. Anyway, there we go. So uh, let's move on. Um, Difficult when you've had news like that, I know, but something trivial like model kits, it's all put into perspective, isn't it, really? But but there we go, but it brings a lot of pleasure to, to people's lives. It certainly brought a great deal of pleasure to Terry, we know that. It was, uh, he kind of lived for it, really, um, in his later years. So let's have a look at one we've got here. It's the rather interesting-looking Dora Wings of the Ukraine. They have come up with this um, 1950s Fairy Delta II. British supersonic research aircraft from the golden era. British jets. Yes, and they also do, shown on the side, Lysander, Republic P-34 Lancer, and a DW-720... What? A what? Now, Savoria S-55, sorry, C played, I got that wrong. Okay, so this is kit number DW-72009. So look what we got inside. It's not going to be a long one, this. It's going to be quite a short, short vid, I think. So, uh, looks like we've got one bag. I've not had a Dora Wings ever before, so this is a new one for me. Let's see what they're going to deliver. I've got a resealable bag, so that's a good start. Oh yes, this all looks very manageable. Now let's have a look at what we have got here. So, we've got a nice little 
uh, almost like a pamphlet, sort of instructions. We've got our decals, we'll come to that in a second. Let's have a look at these instructions. So, starts off with a colour, uh, sorry, with a sprue map. Um, looks like you're going to use pretty much all of it. And I think we've got some decals for instruments. So, starting off construction with our instrument binnacle and shroud. Then we move over to our ejector seat. I think this is the very early days of ejector seats, of course. Martin Baker's. Um, so you're building up your cockpit, you've got a front and rear bulkhead going in uh, and your instrument's coming down and then this very, very incredibly pointy nose um, which is uh, quite typical of aircraft that was sort of breaking the sound barrier at the time with a pitot head stuck on the front. I'll be careful that pitot. It's got these multiple m smaller pitots and sensors that go on it as well so yeah, I'd be tempted to leave that till the end folks if I were you building this one. Then we've got our canopy coming in, aerial going down, intakes, oh, they're going to be nice to us, <laughs> intakes coming in, and then you've got your, uh, it looks like it's the, the rear of the jet engine, don't think it's an afterburning engine on this one. I'm not sure. And then you've got your main legs there, uh, we've got the nose leg coming in here, and you get your two fuse large halves coming in, clamping in around your, your engine assembly that you've built, the engine tube obviously. It's a very conventional top and bottom wing. You've got flaps and elevators, which is nice. And this scale is excellent. Bring it into this super dark shape, just like a really does look like a paper plane, doesn't it? The shape, like you used to make it at school. <laughs> and then we've got our nose section coming on, which I hope is going to be a good fit. Um, does it mention nose weight? Does it mention nose weight? Well, darn it, I didn't realise this has got a drooping nose like Concorde. So obviously they took the ideas for the drooping nose from this aircraft. How about that? To give the pilot better visibility. Good Lord. Again, because it's such a long nose. That's interesting, isn't it? And then you've got all your doors and your gear going in. And then finally, colour call outs. So we've got the record breaker um, flown by Peter Twiss, March 1956, and then we've got 19, uh, 1955, 1956, so that's the 55, that's the earlier variant of it. Some interesting coloured ones, we've got the one that, because it's at Cosford, isn't it? So we've got the purple one that's at Cosford and the one that's at Farnborough from 1958. So you're going to see that, you know you have to get Farnborough. Would have been nice to have had a write-up on it. There's absolutely no data about the aeroplane at all. Now, I've got to say, that's a bit of a negative, isn't it? Don't forget our friends at ICM are doing this in the Ukraine really well. With a really good write-up on their subject, so, hmm. Slightly disappointed there's not more data. Let's have a look at what we've got over here. Ooh, got some photo etch, hey. We are honoured, aren't we? A little bit of photo etch. Ooh, tiny, tiny amount. Not much at all. Here we go. There uh, we are. Very nice. There we got our decals. And these are looks like the Dora Wings' own, I think. No mention. Oh no, I'm wrong. Screen printed by Decograph. Okay, I don't think I know them that well. But they seem pretty nice. Um, maybe a little bit heavy on the uh, carrier film, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Quite colourful. Uh, they're kind of a satiny finish, aren't they? They're not that glossy. Probably a good thing. Um, and then over here, I just think that's a piece of car, isn't it, really? We've got a little mask set, which is nice, sorry. Little tiny mask set. Over here, mask set for the canopies. Not sure whose that is. Self adhesive mask. Some more of the roundels. Rondels, roundels. And then we have our clear parts. So let's have a look at these parts. 
very small sort of canopy area on these. Uh, very minimalistic. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Yes, that looks okay. That looks alright, doesn't it? Very nice. I think that's very good. Can't really see anything wrong. Very thin. Oh, very nice, isn't it? Quite thin. Quite thin parts. Super. So, let's have a look at the actual parts. Now then, so we've got a very sleek looking jet here. Got some nice, um, nice engraved panel lines. Yeah, recessed panel lines, very nicely done. Nice plastic as well, it's a little bit. Actually, it reminds me of the modern Airfix. Look at this super pointy, you've got to be careful when you cut that off. Jeez, you be careful. <laughs> super pointy pito and nose. Look at that. That's wicked. And on the other side, opposite side, port side. Again, you've got the super pointy nose, but it doesn't have the pitot, it's only on one side. We've got our rudder at the back. And then we have, let me back a bit. Um, they're nice, they're actually very clean moulded, aren't they? Very, very uh, sharp looking. I quite like this Dora wing, that's looking really nice. Yes, yes, this is a manufacturer that's got some promise, I think. Yeah, there we go. A bit closer. Dora wings. Yeah, that's very nice. And there we got the wings. Top and bottom and again. It's quite a hard feeling plastic, quite a solid sort of plastic. I quite like it. I think that might be quite, quite fairly decent to work with. It can't be as hard as Tacoms. But yeah, it feels feels well formed and solid. Nice parts. And then last but not least, we've got all our flaps and uh, flaps and ailerons. Here's the flaps. Quite big, aren't they? Huge. I suppose it's such a fast jet you need to slow it down, don't you? I've got a feeling that they had a parachute, in fact I'm sure they did actually deployed a parachute to help slow it down as well. Well it's actually very nice. I mean there's um a real sharpness to the to the mouldings, you know. Uh obviously it's not a not a big kit, not a big jet. Uh so it's certainly not at this scale anyway, at 70 second. I really like that, yes. It's a manufacturer we haven't seen before. Here on the channel, I think that that is actually rather, rather impressive stuff. Um, put that in separately. The only thing I'm going to mark it down for is, is the lack of, uh, is the lack of any information at all. So I'm going to give that nine and a half out of ten because I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think it retails for about twenty three, twenty four pounds, maybe less. Absolutely gorgeous little kit. Nine and a half out of ten from me. I hope that you will give me ten out of ten with a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and please stay tuned. We've got lots of more interesting reviews coming up in March. We've got some amazing stuff coming from our friends at ICM. Some big stuff, and I mean some proper big and expensive kits coming through from them. Interesting matchbox. Don't forget we've got the Matchbox Voodoo to come and we've got flat towers and all sorts of things. So stay tuned and I'll be back very soon folks. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Until next time, stay well, stay safe. Thanks for your time. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.